Don Thompson. I'm the executive uh, director of Mount Rise Buildings for the Portland Cement Association. Um, here we have an example of a concrete wall system. This is an insulating concrete foam wall, um, which was used in a uh, platinum lead project done here in Phoenix in conjunction with Rio. It's an example of an insulated um, concrete wall system um, where we have ready mixed concrete that's used inside a foam forming system. It's one example of many different types of insulated concrete wall systems that can be used in residential and low rise commercial applications. There are precast systems, tilt up concrete systems. You can take conventional form work that's brought out to the site and assembled on site, filled with concrete, and then the form stripped away. Or a system like this where the form work actually stays in place. This is our example of pervious concrete pavement. This is the pavement that I mentioned that was used on the uh, lead platinum home that was done here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona in conjunction with uh, Greenville. It features a wear layer, which is a concrete uh, paving system that features stones of similar size that are mixed with concrete so that you create a solid and void type of pavement material. It's about 15 to 25 percent void, which allows the water to percolate through the concrete. So you get the strength of a solid, hard concrete layer that's suitable for car traffic and occasional truck traffic. So for, let's say, uh, shopping center parking lots, for residential streets. Um, the city of Chicago, for example, is incorporated pervious for their alleys as part of a green building program in the city of Chicago. Um, you have this wear layer, which is about six inches thick. Then you have some stone, which we don't show here, but you have a stone layer that's designed to hold the stormwater that you anticipate draining through the pavement layer. And that stone layer then holds that water until it can drain into adjacent soil, so you're not having to run that stormwater off-site, but can hold it within the site, drain it, and recharge aquifers right there on site. It's amazing what the Portland Cement Association showed us, isn't it? Well, maybe you don't think so, but I do, and here's why. First off, when you think of concrete, you think of it as being a good conductor of heat, meaning not a very good insulator, but a poor conductor of water, meaning water tends to run off uh, the sides. Well, what they've done is by creating <laughs> what I call holy concrete, they've actually turned that around. Here's what I mean. By taking concrete as a structural uh, wall material and creating a void or hole in it, they're able to fill it with insulating material and create a energy efficient yet durable uh, uh, wall material, wall system. And then how about that aerated concrete where they're able to take a concrete surface that you can drive on and yet make it porous so that water can not run off the side but actually seep through it and drain in that fashion, allowing you to pick up lead credits along the way. So I think what the Portland Cement Association is doing is has been able to kind of reverse or negate some of what could be considered negative aspects of concrete and make it a much more productive and viable building material for your next project.